I'm getting ready to cross the street right now. Um, trying to wait till the, the cars go past. God is able to do just what he says he would do. He's going to fulfill what we promise to you. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. He's able, he's able, he's able. I love you, Jesus. I know it's been hard. I know it's been tough. I know it's been tumultuous. I know I'm fighting my battles. I know I love you so abundantly. Mr. Pace, Elder Austin, Elder Adams, Overstill Walker, Sister Gayon, Brother Moses, Brother Kevin, Sister Anel, Brother Isaiah, and the rest of the Highway Source family and the choir. And Sister Tina, Sister Shana, Sister um, Brenda, Sister Valda, Sister Samantha, Sister Tanea, um, everybody, and also Brother Michael, we love you to life. We will always love you to life. We will always be there for our people. We will not back down. We will not surrender. We will not capitulate. We will always have a mindset of our own. A lot of times we say things that we shouldn't be saying, but keep Jesus close and he will make a way. He has to make a way. If he did it for the Jews, if he did it for the Gentiles, if he did it for the Pharisees, he'll do it for all of us. All right? So that's why we should stereotype or uh, label others. We should call them out their names. We should call them by their name, not call them out by their names. Because if we call them out by their names, it's like we don't care. We don't have a filter over our mouths. That's why we cannot become so defiled and abominable when it comes to speaking the truth. We cannot have all this hatred and abomination and all this animosity towards our American people. We, it's time for us to take a stand. It's time for us to make a pledge, make a declaration. It's all time to become independent and also learning how to make our best mistakes because we will do whatever it takes to raise the states but just remember if you make a bet make sure it's a good bet and not a bad bet because people make bad bets and they wind up losing their money so that's why we have to be very mindful of what we're doing because i did not know this day was going to turn out this way but i think the lord i was able to see my sister send their help at the university hospital and i am so glad she's doing well she's helping her herself she's and I want everybody to pray for me at the highway shorts as much as they can because I need to be able to stay successful because I have only two more days till I get ready to go back to work on Saturday. So keep the faith, keep your head up. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. He's able. I need to stop talking so much. So I'm going to have to do my videos a little bit earlier during the day. So please help me, guide me. Please help me be with friends that are going to be in my corner, be in my haste, be my provider, my redeemer, my comforter, my restorer, my shelter, my friend, my deliverer, my trusty, my pavilion, my provider, my healer, my redeemer, my refugee, or my refuge. Who shall I trust? The Lord who is strong and mighty. The Lord that, who is strong and mighty in battle. And I know it's been a battleship with this pandemic. I know it's been a battleship with this inflation, a battleship with finances. But at the end of the day, we have to know how to give it to God. We, Mike D 10 says, Bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there will be meat in my house, says the Lord of hosts. And prove me now that he will open up a window of heaven, pour out a blessing that you have room enough to receive. That's why God is always there for us. And he's going to keep being there for us. I just need you to heal my heart, heal my mind. Please don't let me go down in flames. I need you. Wherever you go, please protect me. Please be there for my brother Tom One Hill and my sister Cynthia Hill as much as she can. All right, God bless you. 
Best love, keep the faith. We will get through this.